right guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to save you some time when it comes to feeding your geckos. You know, I really think that's something that's super important because, you know, depending on how many you have, it can get very time consuming, uh, which can lead to, you know, certain burnout that you have with taking care of your animals and just makes your life a whole lot easier if you can spend less time doing that. So all you need is, you know, whatever you're gonna feed the animal, a condiment thing right here, whatever it's called. Um, I'll put a thing for where I got it from off of Amazon. This right here is eight ounces. However, I would say, depending on how many you have, it should be good for like 50 or under anything above that i would probably go with something a little bit bigger and then this is a milk frother and this you know i'll put a link to it um this was only like 10 11 bucks something like that they're mostly between like 10 to 20 dollars the thing is they all are if you look at the pictures and stuff, they're all pretty much the same thing. Just someone slapped a different logo on it. The only thing about these is you can find many reviews about like them just being cheap and eventually not working. But I mean, for 10 bucks or however much this was, you know, can't really complain. Um, but yeah, all you basically need is these three things and it will make your life a whole lot easier. Now, first things first, I just put some water into the um, condiment thing right here. Um, all I do, me personally, you know, I don't measure things out to the exact gram or anything like that when it comes to feeding them. I just basically eye everything up just because once you do it enough, you kind of know what the right mixture is what it's supposed to look like things like that so fill this up with water then the next step is to put your pangea into here all right so now we have the gecko diet in the container with the water and this won't be the final you know amount of water that i add in there my strategy when making their food is i always just put enough in there to get it mixed up because it's always easier to add water um, to, you know, even out the consistency in there than to adding more powder. So I always do a little bit less at first, get it mixed, and then add more water, add more water, add more water until I get the consistency I like. So all you gotta do, take a milk frother. All it basically does, I never th frothed milk before, but you just put in your milk and it froths it, I guess. But um, you can use it. If you have obviously two hands, it's probably better. So it doesn't start spinning. But all you gotta do is just continue uh, mixing it. And eventually that powder will be all mixed together. Just keep mixing it until the powder goes away. Like you can see on the sides there. And then eventually you just have a real you know, easy mix of your Pangea. And it requires little effort. So I will cut to when I'm finished with it. All right, so I got it fully mixed together. Now all I need to do is just add in more water um, just to fill it up to get the right consistency. I always like to put in, um, you know, when I'm first mixing it, make it slightly more watery. Just because over time, when, the, when you have it in there in closure, you know, it does slightly dry out. So that just keeps it more at a, um, you know, an applesauce liquidy type texture longer when it's sitting in there in closure. So I'm gonna add it in more water. And then what's nice about this as well is when it you do have slightly more water in it, it will store for longer if you put it in your fridge because I won't use this full bottle in one day's of feeding. So I'm able to basically fill it up and then put the lid on it, feed them, put it in the fridge, and then next feeding, it'll still be good. So this will actually save me some time as well for the fact that I can store this 
inside of the refrigerator and then not have to always be um, making new food every single feeding day. So now we have our bottle filled with our Pinji and as you can see it's pretty liquidy um, right now but over time as the moist uh, mixture gets you know cools down because I do put uh, warm water in here I, I find it helps to mix better as it cools down and as it sits in their enclosure and dries out it's going to become more and more solid so by me personally that's why I do this by leaving it more liquid it just is going to last longer and then with the condiment top on here all you have to do is just you know fill up there Holes. you don't gotta worry about scooping anything or doing anything like that and then that's gonna help you know when you got a bunch to go so it saves you so much time for doing this reduces your burnout that you're gonna experience by you know spending all this time feeding and and not wanting to do it when you get home later you got a bunch of stuff going on um, overall I think this is a really good investment um, into your animals and into yourself as well because it's going to save you a ton of time um, so I definitely recommend if you don't have a um, good little strategy going on right now that you hop on this and if you have a better one then stick with that obviously but um, this is a game changer for me as well so yeah hopefully this helps well guys, I really appreciate you watching. I think the biggest takeaway from using that milk frother versus using like a blender or anything else is that you can put it in any container that is gonna be, you know, basically wide enough for the tip of that frother to get down into. So that means you can basically mix it in whatever you wanna store your Pangea in instead of being confined to a blender and then pouring it into something else or anything like that. Um, but again, I hope this was able to add some value to you and also wanted to apologize you know for being absent over these last couple weeks you know from instagram and you know especially on here um i was actually in the process of moving and during that time kind of the build up to that you know being a little stressed out with all these animals and everything so i was just basically focusing on taking care of them you know working and getting things repaired but now that it's over and you know starting to settle in um, hopefully over these next couple weeks, I'm going to, you know, get back to being a little bit more consistent with it, making good videos to help out, um, and, you know, bring some more value to everyone. So if you want to uh, reach out to me or connect, you can follow me on Instagram at red rack. That's where I'm most active. So I encourage you to, uh, reach out to me on there. And then also, um, you know, if you want to check any of my availability or basically see some of the collection, go to my website, redrack.com. Um, that's where you can see all of my breeders. And then also at the top right of the website, it says Morph Market. Click on that if you want to see what I have available. But I just wanted to say I really appreciate everyone's support and you know, all the messages and comments and everything that I get from you guys. It really does mean a lot. So Thanks again, I appreciate it, and hopefully I will be on here again shortly.